Hey folks, Boating52, hope you are well. You know, every motorcycle that I've gotten, at least the last two, I have put highway pegs on. And I've used highway pegs from a company called TCMT. Well, guess what? I got a new bike, a new set of pegs. I'm gonna show them to you, show you what they look like, show you how to put them together, and take a look at what they look like on the bike. Okay, I actually talked about these pegs on a video a few weeks ago comparing them to the Harley Davidson pegs, but let me show you uh, what comes in the box. Uh, it's two set of pegs and mounts. Now, I'm just gonna pull out one now because I've already put one together uh, that I have not put on the bike yet, but I wanted to make sure that they were good to go. And of course, everything I've gotten from them has been pretty good. So let me show you what comes in the box. And again, there's double of each one of these. So uh, first thing that comes is the uh, mount. I happen to have a blacked out bike. So this is the mount that I plan to use, which is right here. And then this is the peg. By the way, this is the same at least on my 2024 Rogue Glide, the same pattern that is on the passenger pegs and the uh, the driver's uh, foot pegs. So pretty cool. I'm telling you, they look pretty much exactly the same. You will uh, get two bags, one that has a big Allen, and I'll show you uh, how that works here in a minute. Another bag that comes with two Allens, right? And again, there's all three of these you are going to use. And there's this little plastic sheathing that you are gonna actually put around your uh, crash bar, uh, which is going to help these things snug up and prevent anything from happening to your to your uh, crash bar. I had a guy call me and says, you know, hey, I love the pegs, but I just can't keep them tight. Well, guess what? He wasn't installing this, and he actually didn't put Loctite in there. So as soon as he did that, um, he should be good to go. I've never had a problem with these. So let me show you how you take these things apart and put them together and then we'll get them on the bike. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I go ahead and take this mount and go to the end here. And this is where the peg is actually going to uh, go in. And I just go ahead and twist this out. Nice and easy. And what it actually has on there are um, two type of, I don't know if they're spacers, washers, what the heck you call them. Um, and these, um, they're, they're two different um, widths, if you will. Um, one's a little bit thicker than the other one. And what's going to happen is they are going to go into here uh, when you put the peg in, which is going to keep it not only nice and tight, but so they can f the pegs can flip up and sit that way. So. Um, I've never known if you're supposed to put both of these in. I could never get them both in. So I always just would put the thick one in because that makes it um, pretty, uh, definitely makes it solid and tight. They probably send both of these just so you can use either one of them. So while I have this out, I just want to go over this a little bit real quick with you. So we just went ahead and took that out where the peg is going to go in. This is another bolt that you are going to take out that is going to open up this clamp so that you can put it on the motorcycle. You'll see that actually when I do it. Okay. And then at the end of the um, foot peg, there's a, a, a screw in here that you can unscrew so you can turn this thing this way and that way, right? So if you, if you like it this way when you're riding or this way, you're going to have full flexibility with that. And there's also this really small one. And this one is actually goes in these two little areas right here. And what that will do is that will push that peg out and, uh, and help you get it to the position you want. And again, I'll show that to you when we get it on the bike. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take this uh, little spacer here, if you will. And uh, that flat part goes in towards the back. I just go ahead and hold my fingers on it to hold it there. And then you are simply going to maneuver the peg in, okay? You're gonna have to play with it a little bit just to make sure that the hole goes straight through. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and uh, start turning this thing in. 
can see once you get it aligned, it is really super easy. So you are actually putting the peg on the mount prior to putting it on the bike. Now I will take these off when we are done with this video and I will Loctite everything. So that is, this happens to be the right um, highway peg. And as you can see, as this is gonna sit on there, it folds up. Again, you're gonna be able to adjust it in multiple places. So let's go ahead and take this off, take the clamp over and get it on the bike. Okay, so as we talked about, we're gonna take this little plastic piece here, it just kind of clings to the bar. And this is uh, gonna be a right about where I believe I am going to want it. Then we take um, the clamp and we just put that right around the bar, making sure that it's fitting in that plastic. You know, you're gonna be able to adjust and move this thing. So don't get uh, uh, too wired about that. Again, this washer has to go here in the middle. And as you can see, if you don't put your finger under there, 1452, it's going to fall off. So at that point, while holding that in, I am going to go ahead and take the uh, rest of the mount and the foot peg. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. And I am going to start just slowly snugging this up a little bit so that we can then start playing with it a little bit. Okay. So getting this just a little bit tight and now is where the positioning on how you want this thing to go. So now that I got it loosely on there, I can go ahead and turn this thing how I want it to, just kind of letting this loose a little bit. Um, again, I am going to be able to turn this, the peg itself up, down, all the way around. There's a lot of different places that you can adjust this thing to. You really just have to go ahead, sit on the bike, figure out where you want your foot, I like to be able to put my heel uh, on the peg right here and or even on top of it when I can. Just gives me a bunch of different places to uh, stretch out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit with this, get it to where I want it, and then I'll show you the adjustments I made. By the way, as I'm adjusting this, there are so many different places that you can go ahead and put the peg, whether it's down lower. If you can see right here, I'm moving this thing up or down, right? to get it however I want. If you want your, your feet a little bit higher so your legs are higher or further down, you can easily do that. And I'm just playing with this thing moving it actually a little bit in because it was too out for me. But you just play with it, but it gives you so many different ways to adjust this thing. It's impossible not to be able to get a position that's comfortable. So one of the things that you can do with these pegs is makes, that's why I like these because they are so adjustable. Uh, earlier what I did is I had this uh, pointing out to this way and my leg obviously was just not long enough So I went ahead and just kind of tilted them in sat on the bike how I liked it um, I'm gonna get this exactly at the angle I want go ahead and uh, tighten it up here and then I'll be able to put those up and or down So the cool thing is they have different types of mounts again pegs mounts. These are the short mounts they also have uh, the longer mounts that will, uh, depending on what type of bike and if you have lowers you would use. And they also have ones that just grab the bar. Those are actually what I have on my Road King. They come right off of the bar um, here and then the pegs there. It just happens to work out uh, from a spacing perspective that those work best for me. So that is ultimately what this looks like on the right hand side of the motorcycle. Right now I think it's set perfect. I'm gonna put them on the other side and then we're gonna go ahead and sit on it and uh, see if it's positioned exactly how we want it. Okay, for me, I got them in a perfect position. And on this side, I'm telling you, these pegs are under 50 bucks and it's over 300 bucks if you get them from Harley. So I'll tell you, I do recommend these pegs. I like quality stuff just like everybody else, but the Harley pegs and these pegs are not that much difference. I can't tell any difference other than 250 bucks. Hope that helps. If you've got any questions about the pegs uh, or the mounts, 
let me know. I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can go find these, make sure they fit your bike, and uh, I think you'll be happy with them. This is Bodine 52. Be safe out there checking a friend. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, folks.